Bad things happen to everyone. Getting fired by your boss during a planetary invasion is bad. Starting a street war with that planetary invader is bad too. Having your business blown up more by those planetary invaders, also bad. Yep, three doofuses got hit with some really bad things, but that's not what makes them special. What makes them special is what they do with the bad. Forget corporate armies. Forget courageous vault hunters. Sometimes, all it takes to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. And maybe, just maybe, they uncover a shiny little nugget of good. shop they destroyed everything bouncing banana blast <gasps> what have they done to you Louis Lou where are you come on pal you better just be looming somewhere like you always do Lou make a bad joke if you hear me How did the robot get across the river? In a rowboat. You're not dead? I thought you were a goner for sure. I cannot die, Octavia. I am built to withstand incredible amounts of damage. TD or grenades cannot harm me, nor can the physical collapse of the worst rated Froggart shop on Promethea. I'm gonna need a moment to myself. I suggest you use it to teach that killbot of yours some manners. Another word out of him, and he'll be in pieces. You risked your life to save mine. This is all my fault. I I'm so sorry, Fran. Fantastic! Fudge slide! Whip your butter! Ripple blast! Kimchi lemon cowabunga! I have been unable to solar charge while trapped beneath the rubble. My analysis of the current situation indicates that I have ample time to deep charge while you wallow in despair. Please alert me when your wallowing is complete. Oh, yeah. That's good source. Entering power sleep. Great. Awesome. My workplace is destroyed, my boss is on the verge of going nuclear, and the latest planetary invader wants me dead. Louis right. I deserve a good wallow. This is me. Wallowing. Day keeps getting weirder. 
the hell are you doing here? I thought you hated it down here. So, what's been in the I hood? was worried about you. It's not safe here. Not safe? Here? There's an invasion going, and you nearly got blown up, and... Oh. You're making fun of me. Listen, I know things between us haven't been... Ooh, friendly? Loving? Respectful? Existent? Ideal. But can we please at least talk about this? Not in the epicenter of an invasion! Putting aside her ego and ambition to look out for her little brother. Classic, Anu! That totally tracks with you ditching me here, by the way. And you don't look so put together yourself. Outfit torn, blood splattered on your face. As your loving brother, I gotta say, you look like hell. You look like you rolled through a ratch nest. I've had a day. A fun day? No, a not fun day. A running for my life day. Ah, yeah. Those days happen here. Look, I get it, you don't handle conflict very well, but this isn't our first invasion. Pro tips, duck and cover, run and scream, and the third thing that I forget. It'll all blow over in a snap. This isn't your garden variety invasion. Susan Caldwell invaded the Atlas Station too. She was convinced Reese Strongfork had a vault key and they wanted it. Holy crap, seriously? Yes, they showed up minutes after I was fired for the Jabbers and I think they took my boss hostage and I stole his car and I crashed on this horrible planet and they were psychos and I killed one of them with this and I tore my outfit that had to walk so far in these shoes to find you. Whoa, 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 you killed someone? Yes. Yes, Octavio, and I feel super weird about it. Bad weird. I have a lot of emotional unpacking to do, but not here. Not on this planet. On another planet with less killing. I would prefer less killing. <sighs> oh, damn, Anu. You're a nice cult killer now! Shut up! Murder! Murder! If you don't shut it, I'll murder you! It's nothing to be ashamed of. Your bro has killed tons of haters in his day. It's all part of playing the business game. I'm not interested in whatever your business is, and I'm certainly not playing anyone's game. When you think about it, Killing is just being born in reverse. You could use a treat. Cuckoo coconut. The last flavor to survive the attack. Anu, this is Fran. She's taken care of me ever since you, well, left. Fran, this is Anu. My sister who was smart enough to get a job off planet. It's nice to meet you. And thank you, I love ice cream. Frozen yogurt. Oh. What's wrong with frozen yogurt? Nothing. Nothing. There is nothing wrong with frozen yogurt. Charging complete. As is, I sense, you're wallowing. Oh, uh, who's this? Louis? He's an assassination bot. But like a cool assassination bot. Incorrect. Louis? Meet Anu. My sister. This woman bears no resemblance to you. You may have been duped. Families come in all shapes around here. The shape of mine is that Anu's my big sister, and I'm her more popular adopted baby brother. Ugh. I see. You seem non-hostile. I will not scan you for contracts that would oblige me to kill you. Your survival probability is 98%. See? Cool assassination bot. We, uh, never had anything like that at Atlas, shockingly. Atlas? <laughs> oh no, Octavio! Not another paper pusher serving one of those heartless corporations that only exist to destroy people's lives. What? No. Oh, well, sort of, yes, but not me, no. Atlas, mellow on TDR, doesn't matter. You corp goons take what you want and you move on. You're the big people and we're just the tiny ones getting squished beneath your heel. No, really, I, I, I don't squish people. I left Atlas, I swear, I never even wanted to design weapons. You can't just judge a person by their resume, you know. 
Unless you're hiring them. Well, sure. I don't know. You sure seem like a corporate tool. I was just fired for refusing to make anything that would kill anyone. And for freeing lab jobbers. Well, maybe not. Plus, she's my sister. We share that free spirit DNA. Or what if we shared DNA? I don't smell too much of that Atlas stink on you. All right. You're okay with me. For now. <laughs> thank, thank me. I, I mean you. I mean... Thank. Don't pay her any mind, Anu. Took her the better part of a year to trust me. You trust him? What drugs are you putting in your frogurt? He practically invented the concept of sticky fingers. He steals constantly. Come on, Anu. You know my stealing days are behind me? Friend sure does. Back me up, friend. Friend knows what's up. Right, friend? Well, he's never been caught stealing, and technically that's all that matters. Bam! See? They don't catch me. It never happened. Great. That's... that's exactly the sort of inspirational, ethical, moral compass I was hoping you'd have. Much like this last carton of cuckoo coconut, we take what we're left with. Oh, slag it. It's empty. Look, have I stolen in the past? Yes. Do I steal currently? I guess we'll never know. Yes, we just confirmed that you clearly, definitely steal. Point is that even if I hypothetically stole, it hasn't landed me in hot water yet. Secure around the perimeter. What was that? I definitely heard something. Like, a radio. TDR calm. Octavio's pocket. Friend! A, a TDR comms device? How the heck did you get this? Well, it's a complicated story. I, uh... Stole it. Fan! Octavio! Resistance has been minimal. We'll be back at base for happy hour. Half off banana daiquiris. Well, let's hope command finds what they're looking for. Doomsday device, whoever that is. Yeah, that's a daiquiri device, am I right? <laughs> they're looking for... A doomsday device? I think, and... They think there was a vault key being kept on the station, at Atlas. That's what TDR wanted. I don't know what they mean by doomsday device. Probably something bad. Which means whatever's in that vault has got to be something big. Which means we need to get as far away from them as possible. Or maybe as close as possible. Are you completely insane? We have here what they call in the business world... A comms device. An edge. If we can find whatever's in that vault before TDR does, we can change our lives. No. No, 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 it's not worth it. TDR has many guns, talking guns, guns with legs. We will be killed by all the guns. Since we were kids, you always wanted to heal the world, to prevent suffering. Yeah? What better way to prevent suffering than stopping ruthless weapons corporations like TDR from obtaining some priceless resource from a vault? You know whatever they want in there can be good. We, on the other hand, can change the world. We don't have to be nobodies. Change the world. Uh, that's not me. It also is not me. It's me. People call you? Anu, how are you? It's, uh, well, it's been a while since I, uh, you know... Fired me. Yeah, that. A few hours ago. Yeah, 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 ages. So, uh, you know, uh, ever since the Tedior attack, things up here have been getting a little, uh... Crappy. Catastrophically crappy. They stole our vault key. We had a vault key, and they stole it. And I know it's not mentioned in any of our brochures, but Atlas's entire business strategy sort of relies on it not being stolen. Anu, I am asking you, nay, <clears throat> begging you, please stop them from getting that vault treasure. Why would you think I'm anywhere near? Because you stole my car, Anu. And it can't be a huge shock that I can track where it is. 
And, and that's, that, that, that's fine, actually. Right now, that's totally fine, because whatever TDR's planning is gonna be just, 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 uh, just... Apocalyptic? Oh, yeah, nice vocab game. You know, I was gonna say so, so bad, but that's way better. This kid gets it. Keep him. Okay, well, I gotta run, cause, uh... Bye, boss! Looks like they're gonna... Wait, Timmy! Bye, boss! What's a Timmy? TDO has disabled Atlas's comms. Timmy equals TDO comms. Got it. You definitely have not. You really don't give a ratchet's ass about Atlas or TDO. You ready to go to God knows where for this vault? I suppose. Wherever it is, it can't be worse than here. I'm in. Scissors in! I knew you'd come around. Fran, putting this plan into action is on you, girl. Plan? Don't call me that. Noted. So, you'd come into Vault Town? Boop, boop. Not unless the big monster guarding the vault is named Susan Coldwell. She wrecked my shop. Nearly kicked me off the wagon. Oh, that corporate butt sniffer and I have a polyamorous date with my punching fist. So many tragedies in one sentence. I've lost enough to know that most adventures don't have happy endings. Susan is TDR. She's the CEO of the Big Cheese. And we steal. It's not stealing. We lift the vault treasure from under TDR's nose. You sock a wallet to TDR, translate a property, you sock a wallet to Susan. Actually, Yes, that logic checks out. Hmm. We've been through a lot together. When the yogurt was thick and thin. <gasps> All right, I'm in. Yes! Fran makes three. We'll be unstoppable when you use your crazy mode on your hover chair. I do not use that mode anymore. And Al Zero U13 makes four. I enjoy hunting of any kind, regardless of whether it involves paid human assassinations. That's nice. Now that you're officially a team, in the past 15 seconds I've designed, programmed, and activated a teamwork morale sensor. It gathers data based on your behavior toward each other and scores your camaraderie from one out of 10 skateboards. All sorts of data. Your speech, actions, how you look at each other, personal hygiene. Why are you using skateboards to rate our teamwork? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Octavia. Data suggests that skateboards are more well-received than stars, hearts, thumbs up, and winky faces. The question you should be asking, why aren't we using skateboards to rate everything else? What's so important about a teamwork score? The odds of you failing are already remarkably high. The remaining small chance of success depends entirely on your ability to work together and find cohesion as a team. Based on your interaction so far, your current rating is... 6 out of 10 skateboards! Congratulations! You're well on your way to becoming true bosom buddies. Well, whatever our score is, we start by gathering more information. That'll give us all what we want. Anu, they surely have VIP access codes to get off the planet. Fran, you get the whereabouts of Susan. Susan. And I can learn more about this vault treasure and strike it rich. We'll just eavesdrop on this comms for intel. It shouldn't take long at all.
I find Zipper Ripper to carry the best athleisure wear. Agreed. And it's eco-friendly. Really? Yeah, something about the threading process and uh, free trade materials. Huh. We'll make something free trade. This is hopeless! Wait, they are telling us where TDR's heading. Zipper Ripper athleisure wear? No, it's not what they're saying, it's how they're saying it. The Lycra really supports my delegates, too. The reverberations bouncing their voices. The faded signal. They're in a tunnel, maybe somewhere underground. The sewer! I've got just the guy to help us. And I have an entry to the sewer in the basement. Why do you... If you happen to see any corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just, uh... Yeah, don't worry about them. Uh-huh. Well, let's quit dilly-dallying and get our butts to the sewer. Louis, guard the shop. It is useless rubble. It is my useless rubble. Come on, this way! You've got a secret sewer exit built into your shop? Yeah. I... Okay. Cool. Yes. <sighs> if you see any bodies down here, pretend you didn't. Why would we... Talk about something we definitely won't see. Got it. Fucko! Good friend of mine. Shut up, moron. Decent friend. <laughs> Do you wanna die? A acquaintance. You're heading into a battalion of TDO troops. How do you know that? I snuck a tracker into your clothes in Why case I ever would he... needed to kill you. Stay quiet. Sneak. Don't run. Pretend you're on a stealth mission, huh? And that you're not an idiot. And if they catch you, make sure you die before you give me up, okay? Right. Weapons and equipment, no OSP. What? On-site procurement. Military stealth lingo. Ah, uh, you made that up. Go in dark. TDR troops ahead. Gotta be sneaky. What? How? I I'm not a covert operative. Just stay low and follow my lead. We'll just, you know, stay quiet and avoid them all. Hold up, I love you, but I would never put the words quiet and Octavio in the same solar system as each other. You got a better idea? Oh. Soldier can't scream with a crushed windpipe. Wait, so... Our options are to sneak around and pray nobody spots us, or quietly murder everyone we come across. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Whenever you ready. Yeah. Let's, uh, maybe try not to murder people? Prude. All right, then. Follow my lead. Won't be able to cross the room without him seeing us. 
You can't, like, zoom up to him and knock him out? Chair gets loud if I move too fast. Everyone in the sewers will hear us. It's okay. I got an idea. Look, I like the kid, but I gotta say, your brother has problems. Octavio, what are you doing? As long as I move only when he's not looking, he'll think I'm just a harmless little ammo box. Then when I get close, I'll distract him and we get past. It's streetwise. I'm streetwise. <sighs> I never should have left you alone down here. Here we go. So weird. Guy in a box. No! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Just let me... Uh, I'm not who you're looking for. I disagree. Is... is that a... No! It couldn't be! Not worth much in the market, but to a true Vaultlander connoisseur. My Vaultlander? You want it, it's yours. Just let me go. I'm not gonna take it. Vaultlanders must be earned. Through the right of glorious combat. You wanna... fight? Indeed I do. Will versus Will. Vaultlander to Vaultlander! Oh. Okay. Beat me, and I'll let you pass without incident. As is the warrior's code. But if I win, your vault lander and your life are forfeit. What is he doing? Let's just grab him and... No. It isn't up to us anymore. Octavio must find glory in the truth of the figures. Only through plastic combat will our fates be decided. Why are you people like this? Ready? Ready. Come down! Select your Vaultlander. Flack. Flack versus Zane. Vaultlanders! Fight! Ho ho! <laughs> ha! Oh! C -c -c critical! Critical hit! This is gonna hurt! Now, or the c, -c critical Better luck next time! KO! You won! combat skills. Leave this place. I must gather my thoughts. Okay, we're, uh, gonna go this way. No more words. I said go. Negative. Not the vault entrance. Well, it's worth a shot. Uh, 
Three TDR soldiers of questionable intelligence stand between us and the vault. Fran, can you take them? Is Frogurt better than ice cream? Hold on. Are we sure about this? Never been sure before. Why start now? Vaults tend to be guarded by big, angry alien things. If one shows up, do you want to be the one holding the vault key? If I'm not cracking skulls, what do you propose we do? There's some cover down there. We could try to, I don't know, get closer. We'll have to be extremely quiet. Yeah, it's a stealth mission! <laughs> Sorry. All this sneaking better lead up to some violence. It will. Probably. Just follow me and make sure they don't see you. Now, let's go. Looks like an opening. Confirmed. That's an opening. Opening confirmed. You got the key. You go first. Oh, no, 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 no. After you. Oh, I couldn't possibly. Oh, no, no, no. Be, be, be my guest. Seriously. I insist. I see something. Wait, wait. Hold on a second. I think I've done it. Yes. It's opening. Yeah. Doug? Doug? No, wait, isn't it Anthony? Anthony! Doug Anthony! We're not gonna get another opportunity! It's okay, no big deal. Just a couple of alien warriors. Pretty sure they didn't see us. <laughs> Thank you, Fran. No sweat. Everyone okay? All good. Perfection! I'm sorry, Octavio. We can figure this out! They're just aliens! More like robots. The Iridians apparently had them built to guard the vault before they pissed off to whatever dimension they're probably hiding in. What? I read. The point is, we're done. We'll be lucky just to find a way out of here with our lives. Whatever's in that vault, it's not worth our lives. Might be worth Octavio's. We've come this far, we can't just leave. Are you aware of the sunk cost fallacy? Yes, Anu, I've sunk a fallacy before. Uh... We're safer here than out there, or back in the sewers. In fact, this is the safest we've been in hours. The only way out is through. Kid's got a point. Wait. 
<laughs> I got it! What's good, Ock? Paco, I need Juniper. What? Your ratch, dummy. Can she find me down here? Should. You got a musk. Then do it. What the hell are you up to? Ratches! They're tunnelers! They know every route into or out of a place. If there's a path that gets us into that vault without exposing ourselves, Paco's pet ratch Juniper will know about it. Good idea, right, Fran? Yes! That animal has zero right to be as cute as it is. I would follow her to hell and back. How about to a vault? That'll do, Ratch. That'll do. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Juniper is. Juniper's a good girl. Well, who wouldn't be a good girl for that kind of attention? Mm. I wouldn't. Not... I'm uncomfortable. All right, girl. We're counting on you. How do we get to the vault from here? Oh. Ah. Uh... It's all right. I'll find my own way through. You sure? I'm pretty sure this is the only path. I'm not convinced those Guardians aren't trying to break through and murder us all, so... I'll buy you two time. Fran, I, I don't think... You do, actually. Way too much. You kids get going now. I mean it. Fran, I... I said go. R right. We'll see you on the other side. should be seeing this. She could name a frogot after it. Like praline portal punch or top secret secret sauce. <sighs> You're right. Friend should be here. Fran! <gasps> oh! Miss me? It's... No! Anyway, look! All that effort, and Juniper just led us to the other side of this glowy arch thingy. It's quite clever, actually. It's a dimensional portal, so you can enter and exit it from either side. And on this side, the Guardians can't see us, so we have all the cover we need to... Do you want to explain more about vault physics, or can we go inside it now? It's quiet. Too quiet. Is that... Should we be worried? Is there an Iridian sound-eating device or something? Can you hear me? Calm down, it's an expression. You're an expression. As much as I like emasculating Octavio, we're on borrowed time here. I'm gonna go guard the entrance. Hey, why don't you use those fancy specs of yours to go find that doomsday device 
thingy. Oh, and some vault treasure. Ideally both. There does seem to be some Iridian writings on the walls. And thanks to the genius of Dr. Tannis and these babies, I might be able to translate some of it. Roughly. Cool. Use a Frogurt right now. Anu? Found anything yet? Found anything yet? Found anything yet? Anu? Anu? <sighs> this looks promising. Better translate this. Treasure circle. Guys! I think we hit the jackpot! Ancient alien runes, and the entire message is intact. Incredible. This must be a clue to the vault treasure. I could really use a taco. Need a professional rune wall inscription service? Call Vinny and Polly's rune inscribers. You've got a wall, we'll put runes on it. Cave walls, defensive walls, even dry walls. No walls too big or too small for our runes. Call now for a free estimate. We also do ceilings. See? <sighs> are you sure those fancy Atlas goggles are working? Because, uh, you don't seem to be finding much. I bet the treasure's in here. Who the heck keeps an empty chest in a vault? Eureka! A false bottom filled with fat stacks of cash? How is this inside a vault sealed by an ancient alien race? You know what? Don't overthink it, Anu. Now, what else can I find? We've come a long way, survived countless dangers, but we made it. Let's get our treasure! Actually, maybe not. What? Give, sis! You don't like treasure? This feels like the Iridian version of a big red button. No, I'm with Anu. We shouldn't mess with that. Mm. Uh. Oh! I've looked at everything. I don't see anything that might be useful in making a doomsday device or treasure. Not ideal. Not even a chest of alien doubloons? 
Do aliens have doubloons? There's gotta be something valuable in here somewhere. My Octavio sense is never wrong. It's never right either. <laughs> so funny, wow. Maybe someone beat us to the treasure. Man, I can't believe we came all this way for Bobkiss. This is bullshit! Somebody my size, jackass. Get out of here, girl. Go. Hey, well, we're not about team. Yeah, we're quite the pair. <laughs> I was including Octavio. Hey, thanks. Just we split up. It can't get all of us. It probably can't. Oh God, I hope it can't. are frozen the frogerts are frozen the frozenest frogerts around you're right i do feel better is that really how you want to go in the belly of a vault monster there are worse ways you really want to die before you can make tdr pay you die now you die a loser you hear me a poor Unconventionally attractive loser. That's right. You hear that, Susan Coldwell? You're next. You come after me, you gon' get God. Is it really dead? Really? Okay, how would a scientist safely test whether something's dead or not? Probably probe it at arm's length. 
perhaps with a stick. Fran, you made that look easy. I mean, Fran totally murked that thing. Wasn't near as bad as I thought it would be. Maybe we'll be all right. Stop! Don't jinx it. Don't be superstitious. If it's truly dead, what could possibly go wrong? Stop with the jinxing! What in the what? that green thingy it's got in its tongue I don't think it's in its tongue I think he's cradling it with its tongue sort of protecting it I mean I respect it that's some next level's tongue work that's gross and besides the point I think it's healing him we need to get it out of that monster's mouth I I have a plan I was worried we were all gonna die now we're gonna die with a plan Mm, that's nice. So, what's the plan? Let's hear it. Fran, you need to freeze that monster's tongue before it kills Octavio. Sounds good. Wait, what? You're the quickest, loudest one here. You need to occupy that thing so Fran can freeze the tongue and punch the shard loose. And what's your role in this genius plan? Relax and eat bonbons? I'll be delivering the coup de grace. You're gonna make a soup? I'll send the shardless monster on vacation. Ideally, to a dimension where it can't kill us. All right, we're dead. Okay, distract the vault monster, she says. Like, it'll be easy, she implies. Like, I'm stalling, he realizes. <sighs> you can do it. It's just a sprint around the old playing field, like when you were in school. If I die in the next few seconds, my last words should be memorable. Let's see. What are you waiting for? Get moving! I wish I had more tacos! They're great last words. Gotta stick with what works. Monster! You ever eat a taco? I have! They're delicious! Parts accounted for. Glad you're alive, but you need to leave. Where is friend? In position. Great. Good luck, girls. Your turn. Uh, no, you need to keep distracting it. That thing nearly ate me alive. Yes, great. Now I need you to get almost eaten again. <sighs> kind of scared here. Me too. You'll run faster, scared. Go! Looking for me?
I need to reconfigure the settings and remove the safety. We're gonna need every bit of power this baby's got. You got this, Ark! Run like you're being chased by the consequences of your own actions! Let's try this again. Gonna need a closer shot at that thing. Great. How am I supposed to get away from this thing now? <sighs> oh, Anu! Hi! I have so much to tell you about! Buddy! You and I are gonna have such an adventure! What you... <sighs> Focus up! You wanted an opportunity, you got one! Now, Octavio, move those feet! Sure, they get to cheerlead while I run for my life. <laughs> Just one more lap, Octavio. Don't get scared now. Someone order a vault monster? Well done! Almost there. Just a few more adjustments. Enjoy your trip into the unknown. Happy trails. That's what your invention does? That's amazing. You just dealt with that thing like it was a moon and you're Lilith. <laughs> Wicked! Did. It's what my device did before I broke it, saving our lives. Still, that was some Vault Hunter siren type shiz, Anu. You're incredible. Thanks, Hawk. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! You all right? Uh, I think so. Your eyes went all weird. What was that? I was yelling, but it was like you couldn't hear me, and not in the normal way you pretend to not hear me. I... I don't know what that was. Should I be worried? Hey, 
We gotta get out of here, folks, before anyone or anything else gets in. Can't argue with that. Agreed, but I'm taking this with us. Did we just, we just did that, right? That was, so we're like vault hunters now. We are a triple digit body count short of being actual vault hunters, but it certainly seemed that we just managed to defeat a space god. Bummer didn't drop any treasure, but we could probably sell that green thingy for a mint. I think this crystal is the vault's treasure. How's that? I don't know, just, when I touched it, I saw something. I felt something. Like something good, something, or drives you insane and you kill us, something. Not sure. Love that. I, I just got this feeling of power mixed with pain and desire. Please don't talk about desire. Sounds like my dating profile. If we can figure out what it does, we could... Change the world for the better. Get rich and famous! Kick Susan Caldwell's ass! Oh, right. Tidior, uh, they'll be looking for this. For us! Sure. But that means we get all the leverage. The only thing I had left was my Froyo shop, and they blasted it to bits. They want to finish me off? They're welcome to try. Hey, don't talk like that. You have plenty to live for. Like... Uh... Uh... Maybe just don't talk sometimes. Look, what are we even worried about? Not a single TD or goon even saw us down there. What about that nerd with the dolls? <gasps> How dare you? A true Vault Lander warrior would never break a bond fort in the fires of plasticine combat. Oh my god! I'm telling you, we're fine. They don't know a thing. As far as TDR is concerned, we were never there. something. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. 